Hey you guys, welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. I missed a couple of days because I was not feeling the greatest yesterday, but we're back and Cal's with me. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what I'm currently doing for training because I get asked a lot. Um, and then also just what you should be doing for training. And I think there's a lot of misconceptions out there regarding what you should and shouldn't be doing. Um, so we'll clear the air on all of that stuff. So I am currently six months postpartum and I'm back to training five days per week. I think right off the bat, I started out just doing three days when I started lifting again at six weeks postpartum and then I slowly worked my way back up and this is the first time I'm doing five days again. Um, I think I briefly tried it maybe a month ago or maybe two programs ago and it still was just too much. Um, but my fifth day is actually an optional day or kind of like a fun day. So I have my um, exact programming done on days one through four and then the fifth day is kind of just a bonus and usually I get to the fifth day. Um, it's very rare that I don't. So I'm finally at a place where I can fit in five days of training um, and the main focus that I am doing right now is powerlifting. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with powerlifting, basically the focus is on the main three big lifts, squat, bench, and deadlift. And then there's programmed accessory work to go with that. I also implemented two days per week of hip thrust, um, just simply for the reason that I want my glutes to grow. I found that throughout pregnancy, um, I don't know, my butt just kind of shrank and got replaced with the belly. So postpartum, that was like my first priority. But I didn't actually start doing any kind of barbell hip thrusts or anything like that till probably three and a half months postpartum just because I did get a C-section and that spot needed to heal and it was a little bit uncomfortable at first, but now there really is no issues. Um, and my secret for that is making sure that you have the right bar pad. So I will link the one that I have for you guys in the description. Um, actually, all of our gym equipment is linked in the description box under the gym tab. Um, most of it you can get on Amazon. There are a few things I think that aren't on Amazon, um, but you can reference our gym tour video if you want more information. But the bar pad is crucial and having a good one for heavy hip thrusts and setting it up the right way. So a lot of people tend to put the bar right on like their hip bones, which could be really uncomfortable. I set it up where my hip crease is, so like right below my hip bones. And if you hear snoring in the background, that's because Josh is making Cal snore and giving him a massage in the background of this video right now. So a breakdown of each day of training, and obviously each day looks a little bit different. I never do more than six exercises and six is like my max. So I do usually one compound lift or one main lift. So whether that be a squat, bench, deadlift, hip thrust, and then I do uh, military presses or any kind of overhead work. So I tend to use hip thrust as like a secondary compound exercise. Um, just because I recover from them pretty well. So I'll pair them with either my squat or deadlift day. And then that gives me a little bit of wiggle room for that fifth optional day. One of the compound lifts is first. And then my accessory work is basically just based on an upper lower split. So on my squat day, for example, I will do my hip thrust after and then maybe like a dumbbell RDL and some calves or um, a cable exercise or something like that. And then on my deadlift day, right now I have hip thrust after also, um, but my higher volume hip thrust day so high reps lower weight and then I do um, I'll use like the leg extension or leg curl machine or bench that we have in our gym as my accessory work for that day so I really don't go crazy I really prioritize those main movements and try to get the most bang for my buck from those and then literally use the accessory work as accessory work because that's what it's for another question I get is you know what kind of core work should I be doing postpartum or in general um, right now, I'm actually not doing any specific core work anymore. I did it up until this point throughout my whole postpartum journey just to ensure that my core was healing um, from my abs being separated during pregnancy or diastasis recti is what it's called, which it healed up 
perfectly fine. Um, I think that was because I continued to do the pr proper core activation and core work all throughout pregnancy right up until labor and then started the breathing right after. Um, and I do have a separate video on an example of what I do, so I will link that here for you guys. Now that my core is healed um, and that I'm lifting pretty much normally, all of the lifts that you do essentially are using your core. And it's one thing if you want to really um, build a base as far as core work goes, but I've been lifting for over five years now and I have that good base of my core work and I feel like you know every time I squat or deadlift or you know do anything my core is activated and engaged properly and that's really what I care about I'm not out here trying to get a six-pack or anything so um, personally I don't do any extra core work at the moment maybe I will next program it's just wasn't added in for this round. As far as cardio goes I'm not doing any additional cardio right now um, we actually are turning our little porch sunroom into a cardio room so we have the treadmill out there we have the bike out there we're eventually going to get a rower and we put like the yoga mats out there um so i'll walk out there if it's like a crappy day and if it's raining outside and i want to get my steps in but i'm not doing any specific programmed cardio right now um i just don't have the time to prioritize that I want to prioritize my strength work first um, because that's more important to me and it's going to get me faster results so that's kind of what I'm currently doing in a nutshell as far as training goes right now and a lot of you guys ask like you know what's the ideal amount of time that you train or how many days should I train or um, you know what exactly should I be doing in the gym and it all comes back around to what is going to best fit your lifestyle right now there's no right or wrong answer um, we can pretty much take anything our clients or our prospective clients throw at us so whether you're working from home or you're working at, out at a gym or a CrossFit box you can make something work as far as programming goes and you know maybe you only have three days per week to train or maybe you only have 45 minutes at a time to train that's fine make what you have work and don't not do it because you you don't have six days a week for two hours or three hours to do it that's just silly so get in what you can prioritize what you can prioritize the big lifts the compound movements are going to like I said before give you more bang for your buck and side note if you're increasing your muscle mass, you're going to transform how your body looks more than somebody who's not increasing their muscle mass. The more lean body mass you have, the more calories you burn throughout your entire day, not just, let's say, in a cardio session. So just throwing that out there. But try to prioritize those big lifts. Um, you know, accessory work has a time and a place and can be very beneficial, but don't make your entire program all isolation movements, for example. Um, and on the cardio note, it's not something that is necessary for fat loss. It's something that you guys can do if it makes you feel good and obviously for heart health reasons. But if your main goal is fat loss, resistance training should be the main priority. This is what's going on behind the camera right now. You got caught. You're on camera crying. Your brother's being so peaceful and just trying to cuddle. <laughs> You're trapping us. On the couch. So as far as training goes, that's what's going on over here. That's what I recommend for you guys. And side note, we are releasing a new training option very, very soon on our website. It will be a monthly membership um, and something that is more affordable for those of you who cannot afford to work with us one-on-one -on -one for an individualized training program. We are still offering the individualized programs, but this is just something that's going to be more community-based. And it's going to be geared towards parents and you know if you're working long hours every week or maybe you're a shift worker and you're just really busy and you don't have hours to spend in the gym and as far as maximizing your potential and improving your body composition goes this is going to be the program for you so stay tuned we will be releasing it soon hopefully by the new year but if you want to get word about this first i am leaving our email list sign up in the description box we are going to be announcing it there to our email list first so go ahead and sign up for that if you're interested and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video bye